بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد. So this short video is about um, how to convert in-page files to Microsoft Word Unicode files. Okay, before I start, I'll just um, introduce you to a very useful website and that website is urdu.ca if you go to urdu.ca you will find in as far as I can see everything you need um, to work with Microsoft Word and uh, so on and so forth okay right so here you have the phonetic keyboard okay so you need uh, I would recommend that you install the phonetic keyboard if you're used to using that especially if you're an in-page user the phonetic keyboard is very good um, right awal urdu font now urdu font this is something that you really will need um, you know this style of urdu writing i think is called nastaliq so you need a good font that displays the text like that so if you click on this um, okay i will open a new tab here so here you have urdu nastaliq font installer so if you go somewhere it says to download from okay here if you click this it will download Jamil Nuri in so I've clicked that and there it goes downloading it it's a pretty big file but you need to download and install that okay going back to the front page right um, right there's instructions here on how to ins how to activate Urdu but that's in one of my other videos right mm, what concerns us most today is in page se urdu unicode tahreer banayi hai ok so if we click this I'm gonna open in a new tab but you can just actually I'm just gonna click it right here you go convert from in page to urdu unicode text now this is the really helpful bit now what you have is like I have here you've had something typed up in in page from before but you want to transfer it to Microsoft Word now the problem is if you just copy paste copy and then you try to paste that into Microsoft Word you will end up with something that looks like this which is no use to you whatsoever the reason is that they both speak two different languages so what you need to do is you need to get this converted to Unicode which is what uh, Microsoft Word uses and most things nowadays use okay so how do you do that first of all copy the text that you want to transfer um, or you can just press Control A, select all. Okay, um, select all is here as well, and then you copy that, right? And then you paste it all into here. Paste. So there you go. So you don't worry that it looks all strange. Um, then reverse numbers, digits for older in page. I'm not familiar with that function, so I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, select font for display Jamil Nuri the static yeah that's fine that's the one you probably want this is for standard um, Urdu now there's one here Nafis Web Naqsh Arabic with Arab um, again I haven't used that either so all you do is paste that in there and press convert wait for the web page to load and voila there you go you have the text converted now the good thing about this is now you can highlight all of that press copy and now when you paste into Microsoft Word there you go you have something which is legible okay and that's basically you know it's um, it's Unicode and it's perfectly readable okay so now once it's in Microsoft Word there are some issues okay there are some issues and um, there's quite a few things that you know you uh, what you will notice here that a lot of the formatting has been lost or it's now strange formatting okay now for all we have bismillah is aligned or it starts here then the rest of the text for some reason has found itself all the way down there and then you might see that the the lines are all different look here we had the uh, number one jawab number two jawab everything was nice and aligned but now everything's quite strange okay now that's 
something that I have no solution for except manually going through it and fixing it um, so as you can see here the so as you can see the bracket is the wrong way around so it's got a closed bracket then it's got the one so the only solution I know is to actually if you press home you'll get to the beginning of the line delete that and just rewrite it again number one yeah or the other I would recommend is just use the numbering option here just use the number numbering here there you go one anyway um, the first thing I would recommend that you do though is to because it's got a lot of dodgy formatting inside this text I would say clear the formatting how do you do that okay so if you go to here change uh, if you open this yeah this is the style um, list and clear formatting that would take everything off it okay all the dodgy bits and bobs from here right the second thing you want to do is after you've cleared it from all formatting you want to change it from left to right as you can see it's aligned to the left you want to change it to right to left text direction okay that's the first thing the second thing you've done then you want to change it to Jamil Nordin Astaliq there you go Jamil Nordin Astaliq okay so now <coughs> it will be a bit more usable now what you want to do is to now do um fix all the problems you know the numbers that are missing or the brackets which have messed up somehow and you go through and you fix that now as far as I know there's no solution there's no quick way around it um, rather this is just a kind of something you have to put up with because you chose to use Impage in the first place um, but Microsoft Word has a lot of benefits has a lot of features which as far as I know Impage doesn't have okay so up until now what you have discovered hopefully inshallah is how to take from micro from in page from an in page document to Microsoft Word okay and then the important thing you need to do is once you've um, received it in Microsoft Word is to highlight it all and clear the formatting okay you want to clear its formatting yeah and then you want to reformat it change it to right left and then you want to um, make it Nordian Astadiq again so I'm just gonna do those two steps again for you so you see look the reason for that is there's all these dodgy formatting here like this is starting from there that is starting from there and how to fix all of that is to highlight it all clear the formatting so that will take away all of this um, alignment differences but you will take it to right, le left to right. So you want to take it to right to left, so it behaves like Urdu. And then what you want to do is change it to Nordin Astadiq, so it looks okay. Right. The last point that I should also mention is that a feature that you want switched on in your okay. The other thing to bear in mind is what language is it behaving as? As you can see there, the Microsoft Word thinks that this is Arabic. So what you want to do is you want to highlight your text, click this button here because you don't want it to assume it to be and then you want to select Urdu and press OK now once you do that now the Microsoft Word knows that this is actually Urdu and not Arabic okay that makes a difference um, because that uh, it depends um, upon that depends what keyboard is going to be used it makes a lot of differences anyway so these are a the couple of things that you need to check one more tip that I will give you that I think is good to have if you go to options and you go to um, advanced options and you go to cut copy but where is the okay editing options right editing options o this option here automatically switch keyboard to match language of surrounding text this is a very useful option to have selected uh, by default Microsoft Word will not have this dis deselected but you want to select it so the reason for that is when you then click inside 
the text it will automatically change the keyboard to the right language like for example um, I'm going to write English here right then I'm going to write Arabic here okay so as you can see there's the keyboard Arabic when I click there it will change it to English automatically so I can carry on writing English and when I click here it will change it back to Urdu automatically so I can write Urdu so that will prevent you from using the you know it, it will save you a lot of hassle so I would select that option